<laughs> if he loses, man, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 you're fucked, dude. <laughs> I'm fucked. If he loses, I'm fucked. <laughs> it does seem that way. <laughs> You know, I, I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if, if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. And some of those billionaires behind Kamala are terrified of that outcome. Yeah. Do you think Reed Hall? What is up, guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Elon Musk and Tucker Carlson sat down for an exclusive interview one on one with one another on Tucker Carlson Network on X. And they spilt the beans. The beans were spilling over. This is the beauty of not being on a leftist mainstream network where you don't have to lie to actually get ratings. Before we jump into that, shout out to everybody watching. Drop your comments down below. Smash a like button. Uh, I wanted to share this really quick. Trump surges to nearly double-digit lead over Kamala Harris on the political betting platform, the poly market. The surge happened almost immediately after Trump held his second rally in Butler, Pennsylvania with Elon Musk. Let me share this with you. The only reason you can now send America escorts in this and boom to the moon there it is right there exclusive surge exclusive surge. as you can see I'm, I'm i'm not just maga i'm dark maga my man elon musk uh we're gonna jump into this interview some of the highlights of the tucker carlson elon musk interview so let's jump in here If he loses, man, what? <laughs> I'm, 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 you're fucked, dude. I'm fucked. If he loses, I'm fucked. <laughs> it does seem that way. You can't just be like, you can't yeah. just be like, yo, I, yeah. I'm like, how how long do you think my prison sentence is gonna be? Do you think? <laughs> well, I see my children. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's not like you can say, well, yeah, I maxed out to him, but you know, I get. You were I have no plausible deniability. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, no, and I've been trashing Kamala nonstop. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, that, I mean, the Kamala puppet, I call it. You know, the the, the the machine that the Kamala puppet represents. Yeah, she's irrelevant. I mean, she's <laughs> yes. not even. No, no, like, I, like I made I made a joke, which I realized I, I deleted, um, which is like nobody's even bothering to try to kill Kamala because it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> what do you achieve? Nothing. No, it's totally Just find right. another puppet. Exactly. That's. <laughs> It's no point in killing. It's deep and true, though. Nobody's trying to kill Joe Biden. It's in oh, it be pointless. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you actually put that up? Yeah. Now, some people interpreted it as as as, as though I was calling for people to to of uh, well, assassinate her. But I but I, but I was like but I was like no even you know I was, I was, I was like doesn't it seem strange that no one's even bothered <laughs> to try. <laughs> It's not worth it. I mean, there's an endless <laughs> supply. Yeah, like nobody would. It's, it's absurd. It like, could be anybody. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 nobody's gonna try to. Nobody tries to assassinate a puppet. Of course not. Um, a marionette. Yeah, marionette. It's just like, <laughs> you know, <That's> hilarious. <laughs> yeah. What? She's safe. Like, I, I like to, to try to kill Trump twice with actual guns and bullets. Um, oh yeah. You <laughs> shot in the ear right in fucking butt, Butler where I was. And uh, he doesn't seem rattled. It's weird. Does he to you? He doesn't seem what? Rattled. He doesn't seem rattled because he's the man. He's the man. He looks fear in the face. That's the president we need. Uh, he's, he, I mean, he's the constitution of an ox. It seems. <sighs> um, you know, it's, it's not like working out and eating healthy. <laughs> <laughs> 
and he's okay. We gotta tape this. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so, so let me he's, he's not like, let me eat another salad. That's not <laughs> no, or, or work out, you know, you know, fastidiously. That's he, he, I feel like hell he doesn't work out and he eats, you know, cheeseburgers and Diet Coke and stuff. And because it, it just, I think it just inherently has a, a strong constitution. So, and you, I mean, you were just with him. He didn't seem like a man who'd been the subject of two assassination attempts. No, he seemed uh, of you know sound mind and body and uh, strong backbone. Did you? Um, I mean, that's what I said in the, in the thing. Which, yeah. When I, and and I, the remarks I made there were impromptu. There was no teleprompter or anything. I just, I was just, I was speaking extemporaneously. Are you the only rich guy who doesn't have like a media consultant? <laughs> No, I don't mean to get Yeah, no, I've noticed. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, no, I, I just, um, no, I just thought about what, what, I, what I want to say, and I just spoke off the cuff. Uh, no teleprompter, or nothing. Good for you. Yeah. I can talk. I don't know, just look like I'm like like now. I'm just talking. Look at me. Wow, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> I can talk without a teleprompter. That's crazy. <laughs> but if if he loses, it's going to be hard for you to pretend you never supported him. <laughs> all in, all in. <laughs> in the deep end. Yeah, no, you are definitely in the deep end. You cannot yeah. touch bottom. No, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm like rolling around. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a pig in mud. I'm like, uh, it's all in, baby. Is it fun? Yeah, it's pretty fun. How I mean, I, 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 I mean, there may be some in the hopefully unlikely event that he loses. There may be some vengeance uh, on me. Were you kidding? <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be one of the biggest government contractors. We do essential work for the government. Yes. Yeah, but we're not, it's not like you know, uh, we we do useful essential work. Right. This is this is. Uh... This is one of the main things with Elon. He just said that they do main essential work for government. So they have government contracts, SpaceX being one of them. Um, and uh, they, they, he's, he's in there. Like he's, he's helping get astronauts out of space. And he provides internet, Starlink services to people that actually need them. He's, he's actually doing the work and left stream ma mainstream left stream media is, is reprimanding him for actually helping. It's crazy. Um, that we compete for and win contracts on because our product is much better right. and costs less. Th that's why we get government <laughs> no, contracts. I know. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, if you take, for example, the, um, the NASA contract to transport astronauts to and from the space station, uh, Boeing got uh, NASA awarded two contracts at the start, uh, one to Boeing and one to SpaceX. Boeing was awarded twice as much as SpaceX. SpaceX has done all the astronaut transport uh, from the space station, and <laughs> and Boeing has only done one to one transport of one of two astronauts to the space station, and we had to bring them back. <laughs> Boeing got twice as much as SpaceX. Th th there's, there's this. A total misunderstanding that that my companies have been subsidized and supported by the government and get all these and, and it's like do you do you really think that a, a Biden administration is going to subsidize me? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> no. In fact, uh, they take away every contract they possibly can. Uh, so, there, for example, there was the FC the the FCC contract to uh, forty two billion dollars for uh, providing for providing rural rural board broadband yes okay uh we we actually f first said look we don't we think there shouldn't be any subsidies so we recommend this that this program just not exist um but since you're insisting that it, ex it, it that it exists we will compete um and we we have better products so we, we we won i don't know about a quarter of it um which would have included the devastated areas like north carolina and stuff and um the fcc took it away illegally they just voted. Three out of five commissioners voted away and said, "Even though you want it, we're we're, we're sending it." And, On what ground? And do you know how many people they've connected? How many? Zero. Crazy. So, you think that was political? Well, 
the three Democrats voted against it. <laughs> right. And the two Republicans voted for it. So you tried to get Starlink, <laughs> you tried to get Starlink yes. into <laughs> North Carolina, into Western North Carolina, the areas devastated by the hurricane. We have it, it is it is in there and it is the primary means of communication in the devastated areas. You had conflict with Buddha Judge over this. Uh, well, I, I, I raised a con I, I said, look, we're we we had delivered We've been delivering Starlink terminals there for a while, and obviously some people already had them um, since they just, you know, consume, private individuals had had Starlink there already. Um, we delivered uh, um, really th thousands of terminals uh, and and got all the way up to the, the, you know, the areas where they wouldn't let us go any further. And then we were like, okay, we're going to send helicopters in uh, and 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 find people who are stranded and and give them Starlink terminals, which I think is you know a nice thing. Yeah. To do. Okay, the they they wouldn't let us land um, because the, there was an FAA uh, notice to M and NOTAM that said it, in order to land you have to know who you're going to meet with uh, to land. Now the problem is we're trying to deliver internet communications. People don't have internet communications. We don't know who they are. But then they can't reach us because they are don't have communications. Do you see the catch twenty two? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> <laughs> so. So it's obviously impossible for people who don't have internet communications to, to let us to, to let us know who they are, because they don't have the internet. Yes. Yes. Crazy. I'm going to jump forward to nine twenty two. I mean, my view is is that if Trump doesn't win this election, it's the last election we're going to have. Um, that uh, the Democrats, the Dem machine, um, has been uh, importing so many people, bringing in so many illegals, flying, flying in with this like CBP border app thing that n nobody even knew about, like secret program. That's illegal, basically. It's, it's, it's illegal, but there's no action by DOJ to actually to, to stop it from happening. They're um, transporting. Uh, large numbers of, of illegals to swing states. Um, if, you, if you look at the numbers, these are the numbers from the government website. So like from the Demo De Democrat administered government websites, like where do you get this data? From the government website that is run by Democrats. Um, and uh, there are triple digit increases in illegals to all the swing states. And in some cases, it's like 700% over the last three years. Wow. Now, these swing state margins are you know, sometimes 10, 20,000 votes. So what happens if you put, you know, hundreds of thousands of people into each swing state? Uh, and, and, and and for the for the if, when somebody is granted asylum, they are fast tracked. They 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 they, they get can get a green card, and then five years after the green card, uh, they can get they can get citizenship and they can fully legally vote. And when they do so, they vote overwhelmingly Democrat. And the, and sometimes I get this rebuttal of like, well. A lot of them, their social values don't align with right. sort of the far left sort of woke ideology. Yeah. I said that's true, but um, but that's not their top priority. The te their top priority is getting their friends and family also to the United States, uh, and the, the the Dems also issue all these programs, these uh, sort of handouts essentially that make them beholden to the Democratic Party. So they vote Dem. That's what happens. So my prediction is, if there's another four years of a Dem administration, they will legalize so many. Uh, uh, illegals that are there, uh, that the next election there won't be any swing states, and it's the, and we'll be a single party country, just like California is a single party state. That's a supermajority Dem state in California because of immigration. Yes, the C California was uh, fairly reliably re Republican. Um, Bill Clinton lost California in '92 and won West Virginia. Yes, um, so. There was a 1986 amnesty. Yes. Um, uh, and and um, thereafter, California trended very strongly them. And as at this point, uh, I think 65, 70% them, something like that. It's super. He's right. When it comes to these illegal migrants coming into, in, in, into the United States using the CB1 app, um, 
on a live a few weeks ago, we demonstrated you can how easy it is to log into the CB1 app and pick a place on where uh, you want your pickup to be and then where you want to fly out to. And you can fly out to these uh, to these sanctuary cities like Chicago, New York, and you get flown in, you get bussed in, then you get housed. And it's crazy to me. Um, don't get me started on the uh, the situation with FEMA. Uh, that's a whole nother video. You know where where those funds are uh, going, where 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 the where the FEMA funds went to house and board, uh, you know, feed and, and board some of these illegal migrants. Some of the, the, some of those FEMA funds went to that. We're going to jump into this. This was interesting regarding the, uh, Epstein list. Machine. Yes. Um, and she will say whatever is, I mean, you must've had friends who said that to you. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But people who care about you. Like what, why cracking down comics important puppet uh when the pro biden puppets uh ratings sagged they knocked him in the back immediately and just tossed him out and put it put a, a, a new puppet on that's exactly what happened tell me i'm wrong well not only you're right i mean it's almost not even worth criticizing kamala harris no no exactly what does she have to do with it's, it? it there's no point in criticizing kamala she's she's, she's simply the, the the face of a lot a much larger machine yes um, and she will say whatever is whatever the tele, the tele, tele, teleprompter whatever's on the teleprompter she's going to say it. Yes. Now she gets stuck if the teleprompter breaks. That happened recently, I think. The, yeah. <laughs> the teleprompter stalled, and she just she was just like looping for a while for yeah. about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so <laughs> I think that happened yesterday or something. <laughs> it was pretty funny to watch. Um, but she'll just say whatever words are on the teleprompter. So you know. Um, it's really whoever controls the teleprompter is the actual sort of those, those that's who's actually in charge and who is that do you think well i've, I've tried to put it down it's it's not like any one kind of mastermind it's not like it's, it seems to be it's, it's like um kamala's sort of a a marionette with you know th a thousand ma a puppet masters type of thing like not it's 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 or maybe it's, it's in it's somewhere north of a hundred is what it seems like yes um i bet you know 80 of them i probably know most of them yeah yeah so <laughs> well, i mean just by virtue of your job and what you've been doing for the last 30 years i mean you yeah just, um and i should say i think you voted for I'd, Biden. I'd, 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 I'd like to see a matchup of 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 those like call it the, the, the top 100 puppet masters in the fd client list <laughs> <laughs> do you think there's some overlap strong overlap, <laughs> strong overlap. when are we going to see that list do you think I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's mind blowing that that it, um, that no, they've not tried to prosecute even one, not even the worst offender on on the Epstein client list. They have not even tried to prosecute even one. Is that that's insane? Well, because they have a lot of diabetic grandmothers who were outside the Capitol on January sixth. They they're kind of occupied. Yeah, the, I mean they've put like whatever five or six hundred January six protesters in prison, and not one person on the on the Epstein client list. Will that ever come out, do you think? You know, I, I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if, if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. Yes. And some of those billionaires behind Kamala are terrified of that outcome. Yeah. Do you think Reed Hoffman's uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah. And Gates. And Gates. Yeah. yeah. And I only ask that because you can you just look at them and you're like that that's a nervous person right there. I don't know. I mean, I assume you know them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reed Hoffman was my vice president of business development at PayPal. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty four years ago. Um, he, does he seem nervous to you? Yeah, I mean, he's terrified of a Trump victory because of the disclosure that would follow. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think he is, he's certainly ideologically not aligned with Trump anyway, but I think he is concerned about the uh, the, the, the Epstein situation. Like something might actually, the DOJ might actually move forward. Wow. There are a lot of videos, apparently, 
those rooms on the island, and I think out in New Mexico, were wired for video. Right. And where's the video? We, I mean, between Diddy and Epstein, uh, it's good. There's, <laughs> there's, there's probably several thousand hours of footage here. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird that the people on those videos are lecturing the rest of us about our moral failings, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. What is that? Um, well, I mean, part of how they deflect attention from themselves is by, a mark, you know, criticizing the morals of others. Yes. So yes. they, it's sort of like a preemptive moral strike. Um, yes. I mean, as I said, I think the, the, those who are saying Trump is a threat to democracy are themselves actually the threat to democracy. It feels like we're getting to a place where the rest of us know too much. Is this, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, it's easier to live in a society where you don't really know what the people in charge are doing or why they're doing it. But now, thanks, I would say, largely to X. Yeah. Um, I think that's fair to say that. Yeah. Uh, we, we do know a lot. Not everything, but we know a lot. And I wonder, yeah. where does that, like, what happens next now that we know all this? The kidnapper's shown us his face. Like, what happens? Well, I think if, uh, if Trump wins, we can do some house cleaning and shed light on things. Yeah, all, all the X platform does is uh, adhere to freedom, freedom of speech within the bounds of the law. Yes. And if, if people want to change the laws, they, they can change the laws. And so, like X in different countries, the, we, X does censor in, in, in countries where censorship is, is, is the law. Um, we don't try to you know, pu push American laws in other countries, uh, but we do try to stick to the law in any given country. Um, that's all we're doing. Um, uh, we open source our algorithm. Uh, we try to be as transparent as possible. Um, uh, but uh, those who want to push lies obviously hate truth and transparency. Yes. I personally think that because of the Twitter files, when Elon acquired Twitter, he already knows what exactly is going on. And that's why he was so quick to name those individuals in this particular interview. And I also think that Trump knows a lot as well. And we are against a machine, a mass machine. Vivek says it all the time. Tulsi says it all the time. JD, Trump, Elon, Tucker says it all the time that it's not necessarily the puppet that we see is the individual that is running things. We obviously know that via Joe Biden. He can hardly walk and gather thoughts coherently. So we know that there is something, something puppeteering that particular puppet. Let me know what you guys think about this. I will drop a link for the entire interview in the description below. Let me know what you think about these clips from the Elon Tucker Carlson video. Drop your comments down below, smash the like button, share, subscribe, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.